So when we wrote it and did the arrangement, I just did. And then we built the dynamics just by playing it louder, just by going, ah, 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 ah. Now when we play it live, I go, ah, ah, ah. So I go, what David had originally written was, um, he, he, uh, he walked into my bedroom and he says, uh, Nile darling, he always called me darling, Nile darling, um, I, I, uh, I think this song was a hit and he started playing. Oh, uh, sorry. Let's dance. So I thought, whoa, David, I come from dance music. That's weird. That's not a dance song. Mm. And he said, well, it's not a dance song, at least not in the traditional way. It's a song that's about the dance between the relations um, that you have with people, um, the relationships between this and that. And he went on with this very long diatribe about dancing and I was like wait a minute wait a minute, hold on hold on <laughs> I said that's all well and good I said but it's got to make people want to dance especially if you know I'm that's the world I come from so I said to him hey David uh can I do an arrangement and he went oh sure I'd love to hear an arrangement and I was like going yes <laughs> I went and then I went to a minor 13. And since I knew that he liked jazz, a minor 13 chord in pop music to David would be cool. Um, so, but it still sounded a little dark to me for a pop record to make people dance. So I just moved it up a half step and went. And I was like going, whoa. Bright is the key. So I said, well, what if I took the whole thing up an octave? And the engineer, Bob Clearmountain, was working on delays to diff on the drums so that if David sang and he wanted a certain rhythm on a delay, or if we had the saxes or whatever, and we wanted a different sound on the delay or, or whatever. He just was setting up delay times. We happened to walk into the room while he was doing that. And I was like, whoa, wait a minute. Put my guitar in that thing. And then instead of me playing, I just played. And then the delays made it go. of the demo he was all willing to give it a shot because that's the kind of guy he is he's an artist who's searching he doesn't mind experimenting at the end of the song he was like that's it i got it you're right it has to be it has to be funk not folk it, it just has to be because it's called let's dance come on man <laughs> and he loved it <laughs> 